Thursday! Christmas Eve is here! Volleyball is close up! Santa's coming! volleyball people all over the world. It is Christmas Eve. That means the 11th day of Christmas. And on the 11th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 11 pipers piping. Wow. You wake up in the morning and hear 11 pipers piping beside your bed. You're waking up and it's busy, loud all day long. I'm glad I, they took a break so I can record this blog. Yeah, no pipers. Okay. A quick shout out to Steve. Steve is from Windsor and he's going to Cancun, Mexico for his holidays to play beach volleyball. Well, and other things, of course. So anyway, Merry Christmas and have a good trip, Steve. I wish you well. I uh, wish I was going to Cancun, but I'm here in uh, Mississauga. Okay, it's birthday time for two volleyball players today. Yes, the birthday, Barbara and Caitlin. I just want to say, hey, happy birthday to you. And forget Christmas for 10 or 15 or 20 minutes because it's your birthday. And that should be separate from Christmas. Do you know something? It is Christmas Eve. And I want to do something special for you because it is Christmas Eve. And I'm going to tell you a Christmas story, but with a volleyball twist. Because, you know, that's what I do. Okay, here goes. You'll probably catch on, but I want to do this for you right now. Watch. It was the night before the big Christmas volleyball tournament when all through the gym, not a player was stirring. They all wanted to win. The knee pads were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that the heat would unstink them there. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> the players were nestled all snug in their beds and visions of kill shots all danced in their heads. <laughs> the coach in her kerchief and I in my cap. <laughs> we just settled our brains after a sail at the gap. When out on the beach courts there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my laptop to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a libero. <laughs> Tore open the shutters, but it was no sparrow. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave luster of midday to the beach court below. <laughs> but what to my wandering eyes did appear? Well, it's a minivan and a team of eight tiny reindeer. With a little old setter so lively and quick, I thought for a moment, this must be a trick. More rapid than marauders, his hitters they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Smasher, now Dancer, now Power, now Vixen. <laughs> On Comet, on Cupid, on Offside and Blitzen. To the top of the net, to the top of the pole. Now hit away, smash away, smash away all. As their practice continued, the hitters did fly. When they met with a block, they tooled to the sky. Up to their armpits, the entire team flew. Before the attack line they hit, the setter did too. And then in a twinkling, I heard him yell, Roof! <laughs> and ranting and raving, they called him a goof. As I drew in my hand, and I was turning around, down the court ran the setter. He came with a bound. He was dressed in only shorts, from his foot to his head, and his knees were all bloody from the diving, he said. <laughs> his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the hair on his chest was all covered in sand and snow. He would attack down the pipe <laughs> as he gritted his teeth, and the smoke from his spike, well, it encircled his head like a wreath and a bundle of balls while well, he threw on his back and he looked like a middle hitter who was drooling for a six pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples so merry. His sets were like roses, his best were so cherry. He had soft little hands and a round little belly that shook when he volleyed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf and I laughed when I played against him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head led me to believe I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He scored all 25 points, then gave me a smirk. And laying a little finger to the side of his nose, he nodded his head and up the game point it rose. He sprang to his van, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like some spike serve guided missile. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas 2009.